I don't disagree. It, it just comes back to this idea that we're supposed to focus on the audition and we just can't if we're doing all this other side work and hustles and... I know. And I, and I feel like a little bit like... This can't be how it was meant to be, right? Like, and I know that acting and art is not necessary. So there is a level of like, it's not a necessary thing. It's like, we get to do this. That's lucky. And in order to do this now, we have to hustle so hard. Most people I know have multiple jobs. Yeah. I don't think that's weird anymore. That was weird when we first started like 15 years ago. Most people were just like actors or had a job. Yeah. Now people have career, multiple careers, not just like not waiting tables, like careers. Yeah, I'm one of them. Me too. I'm a photographer and an actor and I do both of what feels like full time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tired. I'm so sleepy. I take like hour and a half naps a day now. I'm like, I this world is exhausting. Wait, can you talk to me about that? Because I remember you being sort of the queen of side hustles back in the day when we did the first interview. Like you were doing headshots, I remember. Are you yeah, still, still doing am. headshots? Yeah, okay. I'm still doing headshots. You were also doing like art projects that you were like pocket mantras was yeah, it called? Yeah, still yet? sell those. I okay. sell those on Etsy. Beautiful. Um, so haven't you've created... always sort of done that though. Yeah. Why do you think it feels different now? Or are you just saying everybody has to do that, it seems like? It seems like everyone has to do it. For me, I'm doing the same stuff I've always done. Yeah. For everyone else, they're having to do it all now. Yeah. It's just a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. I remember interviewing Jenny Pearson. Do you know Jenny Pearson? I know of Jenny Pearson. She's okay. very funny. She did She did that NBC show about like <laughs> about like uh, the superhero world. Yeah. Um, I forget what it's called. It was really funny. It was just the idea of what are normal people doing in a superhero world. Yeah. It's like them dating henchmen and stuff like that. Very funny, funny show. Yeah, funny. Very funny premise. She, w- she did that. She quit her day job. The show got canceled after one season, and then she, you know, no. walked back to her day job as a secretary and said, "Hey, can I have this job back?" And she, she was like, "I don't think that's bad. I want people to normalize that." And it was the same time that yeah. Cosby actor was working at Trader Joe's or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. It was the exact same time as that, and it just felt like I think it's smart. That's where we're at now, and I think it's smart too because if things aren't going good at at your day job, I worked for a tech startup. Yeah. I worked there for eight years. It's Wild. crazy. Um, if things aren't going good there, I can always fall back on, oh, I had an audition this week. Yes. If things aren't going good in acting, I can fall back yes. on this. And it feels, to your point, it feels n- good and normal, but it also feels overwhelming because I it feel It can feel like, exhausting. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it takes the pressure in like Big Magic, Elizabeth Gilbert's book. I referenced that last week with Mary <laughs> You <Holland>. did? <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. We're all, I'm serious though. <laughs> oh, no. I'm dead serious. <laughs> she Maybe. talks about taking the pressure off your art. Yeah, exactly. Right? Is that the book? Probably. I think it is. Anyway, she takes take the pressure off your art by having another job. I've always thought that the same way, though. But I've interviewed people that are like, no, then you can't fully put your time into the art and it's not going to happen. I can and see I'm an like, argument for both, to be I honest. I can see an argument for quitting everything and then being like, I must succeed. Maybe it changes something. But for me, I, I want to take the pressure off my art. I want to have fun. I, I agree with you 100%. If you can. To the other one, though, the problem with the other one is, sure, we hear of the people that have successfully done that. Where yeah. They, I, they quit it all. They said six months. I'm all or nothing. Yeah. But we don't hear about the thousands of people that quit it all and then move back to Kansas Yeah, we City. hear about the one success story. <laughs> yeah. You know that most people end up be like not well after that. Burned They're, out. <laughs> yeah, burned out and having to move home. Yes. Yeah, we're hearing about that like very small percentage where they're like, and it worked out for me. Yeah. And then we're supposed to live up to that, which is so crazy because it's like, no, this is... Yeah. Uh, if you're already made it, you already did really well. But if you quit yes. everything and made it, that's like a whole different level. It's wild. And I don't want to deal with worrying about how I pay rent. I, I do have, not think that's a smart way to live. I don't either. Under any circumstance. I do not want to have to book a commercial to pay my rent. Agreed. I want to be like, wow, this is extra money this month. That's nice. I yeah. can save it and put it in my Roth IRA. Beautiful. Like, Ooh, talk dirty to me. <laughs> <you're right. laughs> It's like that's the shit I'm worried about. I want to retire, and I want to, <laughs> I want to be done with all of this now. 